Well, there, there are several things that we have to deal with in a cockpit. We have to understand what our machines do. We have to be able to have sort of a language with them. We have to uh, interact with the machines. And then, of course, we're still in a human environment. So the human factor is one of the big issues that we have in the cockpit as well. The aim of the Pegasus project is really to understand the state of the pilot. And to do that, what we need to do is capture uh, different signals from the pilot where they're looking, you know if they're attentive to the right detail. CSEM has the ability to extract information from images in an intelligent way. And the challenges that come with that are things like it needs to work in real time, working at 60 frames per second to give real time interaction. The system uh, consists of five cameras and active illumination, and this allows us to catch the field of view for a pilot, which is much larger than anticipated for something like a car. And also the challenges in the system include the lighting conditions, because when you're in a uh, cockpit, it can be deep dark night, it can be broad daylight. Another issue is that some of the panels that we're looking at, when we need to capture their attention, are only two centimeters by two centimeters. So we developed a vision system in order to provide two different modalities of interaction to facilitate interactions of the pilots inside the cockpit. The first system is an eye gaze tracking system, which is composed of different algorithmic blocks, machine learning and analytical approaches so that we have a fast decision making to be able to find out what is the eye gaze direction um, at each moment. And the second one is a hand gesture recognition system. We have developed models that can detect at each moment what is the, the hand gesture of the pilot. And based on that, since the two systems can operate in real time, we are able to give feedback to the pilots. To process terabytes of data in real time, you have to have very fast accelerators, and the machine learning needs to be optimized in such a system. So it's not a standard system that you can use that can fail. It needs to be robust and extremely precise. And these are some of the challenges in the Pegasus system. It's really all about increasing efficiency, reducing workloads in the cockpit. And thus we had four different partners to tackle that problem, who came up with uh, solutions. And now, after having conducted the final study, I think we have a very interesting uh, preliminary results. It's especially as an instructor, it's sometimes really difficult or hard to know what the pilot gaze was or where he was looking at where in terms of scanning. And having this additional information of where the eye gaze was can be very, very insightful and uh, basically allow the instructor to give a very concise and precise feedback then to the trainee. Well, the, the dream for the pilot, of course, is that he's feeling well in the cockpit, that he's actually be, he's able to do a, a safe job. So the pilots are prepared to not only operate the cockpit when things are running smoothly, but also when, when things go wrong. We do know that data-driven techniques will be used in the avionics industry. And so by being at the forefront within Europe on these technologies, then we will be ready for their uptake when they come. One key aspect where this could be useful, and we believe it will be useful, is in security and safety. Because the ultimate goal of all AI and this technology is to help humans do their job better. And that's one of the key aspects of the Pegasus system.